In this episode, Brad rocks a combo in the rain after bumping into another group in the field. I take a group out on a smoker pothole duck hunt that absolutely defines classic. I've guided a bunch of these, and this one was fast, furious, and in tight, with ducks as close as five yards. I then take a group on an afternoon field hunt for big honkers, and after a few adjustments, had the big geese doing it. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Feeling good about the hunt, not so good about the weather. Just a little drizzle, supposed to go on for most of the hunt, so. Got a new group here, so we're a little bit late getting out of the gate. We're just trying to get everything, everybody oriented and get their guns and ammo together. So hopefully we're out of here in a couple minutes. When it's raining, the ducks will go trade back and forth all day. So that'll give us a more duck opportunity. And I don't know, we got a big hunt, so we're not too worried about duck opportunity. We should get it done. I'm thinking in short fashion. So as long as we can get there. So Gene gave you permission. Yeah, so where are, you, where are you wanting to go? Oh, I'm hunting here. Right here? Well, I, my pin, did you see my yellow pin on the ground right there? Well, I was wondering what that was. <laughs> Sucks to hunt in competition each other and you ain't gonna win that one, I'm sorry, man. I got 400 full bodies. Yeah, I understand. Okay, well, we're gonna go set up in the other part of the field. I'm sorry, man. Ah, uh, just come into the field. There's another guy in here, it happens. He uh, got permission from the owner of the land. I've been getting permission since being the season since the, from the renter, so. It happens. Sometimes you got two people in the field, so I don't have room to put him in with us. So we're gonna just set up the other ends of the field. It's a half section. It sucks. You don't wanna hunt against guys, but at this point we don't have a choice. So that's how it's going. Bread looks fantastic. You know, I've been here, I think this is my fifth year, so I'm kind of used to it. You know, you do your own stuff when you're home, and you know, you've put out 10, 20, 30 decoys, you know, and think you're looking good, and you come up here and see this, and it's kind of crazy, but it's, 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 it's why they're so good, you know? But it's great, you know, we love it. Uh, one of my buddies has been, was their first group that ever came here 25 years ago. So, we've been up here a long time. <laughs> Here guys, did you get feet? Pete, 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 get, get down, get down, get down, get down. Wait, 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 wait. Go guys, go, 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 go. There we go. We'll take that. Go, 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 go. <laughs> that was our shot. Go guys, go, 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 go. He's down, yes. Good job. You may have got them both. You did. That's the proper distance. Go, 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 go. Go guys. Take him, take him. I wanted to let him get in real quick. <laughs> Go. 
go guys, go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Well, you want to pick up these geese real quick? Because you got... There we go. We'll take that. That was a hell of a hell of a hunt. I tell you, they just kept coming in, and we just kept shooting, and we damn near shot all our shells. We had a wonderful morning. a lot of specs in here last night and they showed up and we were ignored at first they didn't, they didn't look at us a little bit later in the day it started to uh, you know pick up chipped away at our duck limit turned off the robo when we were done our ducks and then we started working on our geese i mean we were basically 40 ducks and four geese i think and then we sat in and started chipping away and uh yeah i think we're 40 ducks, 37 darks, I think 12 of which were cans, the rest speckle bellies. Turned into a heck of a hunt. Yeah, so this still looks really good, Jay. It's just, I just, I just come back here and they're all sitting on, on the puddle. There's still a carpet, an absolute carpet of ducks nice. on the hill uh, with a few geese, but they all, they're all back. A lot of them just walked back into the puddle and some flew into that day roost I was telling you about, but I don't I don't think it's any cause for concern. The X is right where they fed anyway, so. Perfect. How about you there at, uh, at Don's old place? No, I haven't seen a duck yet, so I can't wait around much longer. I gotta check these other hunts. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I think Mel's good to go, so. We should right. be all right. Pretty painless night. Right. Good way to end the week. Exactly. Week four. That's a wrap. In the books. In the books. Right on. All right, Jay. Take care. Okay, Bye-bye. That was Jason. He was out spotting. So, we had a really, just an absolute classic situation. The only fly in the ointment would be that they're day roosting kind of in another puddle a couple hundred yards away, which isn't a big deal. I'll just park the truck there. Uh, but they will come, and most of them are still in the puddle. They should come to puddle right where they fed, and if not, they're coming there to feed anyways. So it's a it's a really good situation. And uh, just waiting for dark, and I'll show you the duck trails. I mean, I can't see them from here, but I know they're in there. Very, very cool situation. So I'm excited to hunt this one in the morning, and it should be good. should be real good. All right, so this is the puddle here, and I'm I'm just anticipating that there'll be just tons of duck uh, of duck trails in it because I did actually see them in the binoculars. I could see them walking out and and just fill this whole hillside all the way up for two three hundred yards, and they'd wrapped around this way. And earlier in the evening, they're on the other hill. It's just pretty cool. So I'm just gonna look for. Uh, Look for the duck trails and then walk around the pond, see what I need for gear, but I'm thinking upright blind. And uh, I'll take it from there. Put the wind at our backs tomorrow morning and shoot some ducks. Let's have a look. Yeah. It's funny, you know, and, and a lot of times the hunters will ask me, they'll go, well, why, why this puddle? Well, anytime you have, like if you have a cattail rim slough, the ducks have to fly out. When you've got just any sedge grass or just, you know, just where the, where the peas get really, or the barley or wheat or whatever, get really close to the water, ducks land, like they're ducks, they like water, and then they loaf around, and then they walk out or they day roost a little bit, and then all of a sudden, they find peas, well, then more ducks come back, and that's how, 
how that kind of whole situation happens. And it works, works really well. You know, you throw out 75 decoys. Uh, I really prefer those Lucky Duck decoys now. They're just so well made. Stab them in there, turn two on. It's good. So we're just going to intercept them on the pond on their little travel to feed. So should be good. I'm going to stick a pin in the ground, mark it with my phone so I can find this place in the dark. I've never hunted this pond ever, you know, in, in 26 years. I and mean, there's only probably 100,000 ponds around. But uh, anyways, should be interesting. Be good. Pin is in. Oh yeah, the end of another week. All right, uh, back here at this puddle I spotted last night where all the ducks come in here. I mean, it's just, the guys want to hunt out of upright blinds today, so we set up a big, uh, big upright blind. Normally I would hunt boxes in the, boxes or layout blinds right here on the edge, but uh, they get to sit on buckets, better for their backs. Put out about, I don't know, maybe 80 or 100 uh, floater decoys. I'm gonna stab, stab three or four lucky ducks right inside the hole and wind in our back. Hopefully those ducks come back in here, you know, they should. Four guys, 32 ducks, hope it works. We are in great shape. Last morning in Alberta for a classic pothole hunt with Claudio. This is my 26th year of coming up here, and this is the best part of a hunt. There's a nice little pothole and an early Saturday morning, and all ducks probably, and uh, we should be out of here in about an hour, so I'm really looking forward to it. We're ready. Start your engines, boys. Let them get in here, let them get in here, let them get in here. Okay, now, guys. Okay, that's three. Here comes another. Kill him! Kill him, go! We might have to cover up now, guys. <laughs> rip him, rip him! Oh, big flight coming, guys. All right. Okay, bring the guns in, guys. Bring the guns in. It's hard to pick one out. Just pick one. Just watch a duck and say, I'm going to kill that duck. That's all you got to do. Here's one. Okay, now, guys, now. Oh my God. Yeah, that's I think cool. it'd be easier to hit them if they're a little further out. Well, I'll call, I, I can call them sooner. Go, guys, go, go. You didn't hit one. No, I did hit one. <laughs> he didn't fall. <laughs> Okay, this will be cool, guys. Just watch. Just watch. Kill three, please, please. On the ground? Oh, oh, and there is one over there. Okay, I think we're done, guys. I think we're done now. Anyways, that was that was unreal. We were uh, we got it wrapped up. I mean, we hardly even had to. We stood on the edge of the blinds. The guy shot, it was un unbelievable this morning, and they were there. In fact, the criticism they had is they're too close. I had the robo duck probably too close. There's ducks inside of five yards, pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go get the truck, and the ducks will probably go back into that other pond. I'm gonna wrap this up and get these guys back for breakfast. And it is, well, we're all done, and it's 7.30. Adrenaline. The birds were coming in, you wouldn't believe it. They set their wings and right into the decoys. And, and uh, Claudio just uh, called the shots and uh, boom, 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 the ducks fell. We got uh, 32 of them in about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. So it was fantastic. Thank you.
try. Okay, now I'm gonna take some pictures. All right. Thirty-two ducks in less than an hour, huh? All right, so uh, there's, you know, there's so much, uh, there's so much more to this outfitting game than, than meets the eye, right? Like, like my job, aside from the hunting and getting the hunters here and making sure everything goes smoothly, is to give the guides the tools to be able to go out and deliver the goods. And part of that is keeping the trucks on the road and running. And you know, we use we use Honda CRVs, a little bit older. They're used. They're great on fuel. But of course, we put so many miles on them on the gravel, they get beat up and they have slight breakdowns here and there. So I've got to run two into the city and then they're gonna get repaired. And then I'm actually running one truck back, which is Daryl's, um, that he will take to Saskatchewan and use there at our hunting lodge there. So I'm just, today's a changeover day. You just saw the clients leave and I'm ferrying trucks back and forth. If I get back on time, I'll be able to get out and get scouting. If not, it'll have to be in the guide's hand. So, that's how we roll around here. Turnaround day gets pretty busy around here. We've got to do all kinds of things. We clean, clean all the vehicles inside and outside, uh, the spotting cars, the hunting trucks, trailers, reorganize all the hunting gear. Uh, we clean all the shotguns, get them ready to go for the next guys coming in, restock all the ammo, uh, just general yard maintenance, tidy it up, and uh, really anything else that needs to be done, you know, get some vehicles repaired, uh, do, do little minor things on the vehicles if we have to change some tires, oil changes, anything like that, that's all what we do on turnaround days. Yeah, it's just a busy day for us. We, uh, we got lots of work to do, but we get it done quick. Everybody works as a team here, and uh, we do what we have to do, and then catch a bit of downtime and get back out on the road and find more birds for the next guys tomorrow. Just finishing loading up the heavy shop for Saskatchewan. I'm on my way out there today. Uh, a little earlier than the last few years, but uh, Good. We've got a uh, full crew of guys coming. We'll be running hunters out there starting next week. And uh, hey, my time's cut short in Alberta here this year, but uh, it's good. We've got uh, a lot of good hunting to come up in Saskatchewan, and Jay's coming in today to replace me, so he'll, he'll take over the area and find some good hunts, and everything will be good. Alright, so this morning was a bit of a tough one. Uh, Brad and Jason had really strong mornings. Uh, I've got to go and still shoot some dark geese and uh, I'm in. I'm ready to rumble right here and you know, and I've said this a million times, anytime you go on a hunt, you always go in there with a little bit of trepidation because you never know how it's going to shake down and you know, let you know at dark how it went, you know, I'm in. So the wind's kind of going at an angle like this, right? And here's kind of a typical J that we'll do, right? But we're gonna leave the blinds like this. We're gonna run a mirror image of this. So we're gonna run the line right here in front of us. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna pace out about five to seven yards out and five to seven yards this way. And then that's where we're gonna run the J, except we're gonna run it back, yeah, like this. And I might even just even hook this like this. Because most of the birds are coming this way, because we want them to come and approach the main body and hopefully we'll just get them decoy right, right there. Okay, are you ready? Let's build a spread. And I'm definitely overloaded on the right with decoys because they're all pushing that way a little bit. Yeah, they're coming up that side now. <sighs> okay, I'll go kick those ones up. <laughs> Something they didn't like. Might have had to shoot at that long with that. Oh, I hear him. You see him? Where are they? Okay, close your door a little more. Ready? Ready? Go, 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 go! Oh, coming right back. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, where are they? 
Oh, two landed. Get ready, guys, if they come over. Try him on the right, try him on the right. Go, 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 go! Getting the hang of them now, huh, guys? Okay, here we go, guys. Four on the right. Kill those, kill those, shoot them. One more, one more. Oh, yeah, good, good, good. Five. Get ready, get ready. We're gonna kill the five. Don't forget the one in the gun. That's perfect, guys. Kill those, kill those, shoot them. Nice shot, man. Ooh. I was getting a little bit stressed at about 6.32. We hadn't seen any yet, and I'm going, all right. I mean, it was calm. They fed fairly late, and then the first two flights that came pushed a little bit off. The wind had shifted, and there was this off this one downwind leg, and they didn't like it. They kicked off. We shot at a couple, and then at every flight, I just had time to run out, make a few adjustments, and it recorrected, and we ended up with 26, 24 big ones, two little ones. Good, good hunt. We had a half hour oh, where it was great. constant action, yeah, constant big birds. Oh, Claudio yeah. was able to turn them right into it, so it kind of was not that hard. He did all the hard work, and we got to have all the fun. Did you like that? Fantastic. Oh, great. Yeah. Smash the honkers. Very good.